We begin today's program with arguably one of the greatest song cycles of German Romantic literature. It is the Frauen Lieb und Leben, The Love and Life of a Woman, by Robert Schumann. The work was written in 1840, which we have come to call the Year of Song for Robert Schumann, because this composer, who wrote predominantly piano music up until this point, suddenly wrote an astounding 138 songs in this one year alone. What happened to change his focus? He married Clara Wieck, the wonderful pianist and composer. He was trying to marry her for many years, but they were engaged in court battles with Clara's father, who wouldn't allow it. So these songs written in that particular year are very often about love. And indeed, since at the time that he wrote some of these songs, he wasn't at all sure that they would indeed be able to be together there is a great deal of subject matter that contains trepidation, anxiety over what will happen, as well as yearning and dreaming of what life would be like when they could eventually be together. The Frauenliebung Leben channels the poetic image of a woman's life through the words of Chamiso's poems of the same name. We have a woman at the outset, who is hopelessly in love with a man, and in disbelief later to find that he loves her back. Another poem talks about the joy of having a ring on her finger. Another poem charts the experience of her preparation for her wedding day. Another poem talks about the two of them having a child and the ecstatic bliss over the birth of that child being the joy that she has always searched for and never believed could happen. And in the final poem that Schumann takes from Chamiso's set we have the man passing away and we have the line, for the first time, you have caused me pain. She describes the sense of anguish, torment over his absence and retreats back into the memory of the love from which everything started. And you will notice as you listen to this music that the opening song, that music in the very beginning from which we start this story of love, is where the music ends as a memory, as a distant recollection of that which was glorious preserved in all eternity.
Thank you.
Oh.
Our next song cycle deals with the character of Ophelia from Shakespeare's Hamlet. A very different experience, let's say, from the previous song cycle. Some of you will know that the character of Ophelia is somebody who is tremendously constricted in her thought process, in her experience of life, by the expectations of all those around her, from her father to her brother to Hamlet, who is the person that she would like to be together with. And a series of tragic events, ranging from the rejection of her loving advances by Hamlet to the death of her father, makes her lose her mind. And in that moment, Shakespeare gives her these songs, which are mad songs, if you like. They don't make a great deal of sense, but they have these elements of truth about what is happening to her, the pain over being rejected, the sense of disillusion over not knowing what she wants, and the complete sense of devastation over losing her father. All these things are mixed into these songs with a sense of confusion. The composer Strauss thus takes these ideas, these juxtaposed opposing ideas, and places them into this song cycle. Das ist nicht recht. Sie spürt ihre Schöne. 
Finally, we conclude today's programme with a selection of songs by perhaps the godfather of all art song, Franz Schubert. We have the first song, Night and Dreams, which as the title suggests, gives a magnificent canvas of night descending over people who are dreaming. And just as it lifts its veil to welcome in the morning, we are left aching with this yearning for the dreams to return to us. The second song, Gretchen at the Spinning Wheel, has the character of Gretchen from the legend of Faust. She is weaving constantly at the spinning wheel as represented by this monotonous motion at the piano. And just as she is doing that, she is constantly talking about the sense of destitute emptiness that is left to her by the absence of her lover, Faust. And then in the third song, Nachstuck, which translates roughly as night music, we have a very evocative description of an old man who convenes with nature and gradually comes to his resting place. The final song, The Trout, is a far more whimsical, tongue-in-cheek song, which tells the story of a fisherman trying to catch a trout, but does so with tactics which are not entirely virtuous, by muddying the waters so the trout can't see. And he catches the trout, and the narrator expresses discontent at this, saying, this is just like how some woman will be caught by some men, so you have to watch out.
Oh, <laughs> 